Don't buy a new TV for your PS5 until you understand performance and resolution modes and what your current TV is capable of doing. Now to access those modes for your games, you want to go into settings and then you want to go down here to where it says saved data and game slash app settings. Then go right here to game presets. And this is where you can change between performance mode or resolution mode. Now, this is basically there's three options here. There's game default where you let the game kind of decide between the two and just kind of give you the option. Or you can set this by default so it works in each game that the games that support these particular options. So not every game supports these new or higher resolutions or frame rates. So if you decide to choose performance mode here, performance mode is going to be high frame rates up to 120 frames per second on the game here, but it's going to sacrifice some image and video quality to be able to do that. It's not going to run necessarily as high as it possibly can in terms of resolution. This is, this is very, very game dependent on this. So each game is going to handle this a little bit differently, but that's what the performance option is going to give you. It's going to prioritize faster frame rates. Now in resolution mode, that's going to prioritize higher quality images at the sacrifice of frame rate. So it might only go at about 30 frames per second, but it might be full 4K or maybe even a up to 8K whenever we get to that but that's going to pretty much use that by default instead. Now, these settings, like I said, are just game preferences. The game itself is still gonna kind of control most of this. I do know with certain games, you kind of have to either choose performance or resolution mode to get the options within the game itself to be able to sort of change those options because some things get locked out. So we're, we're gonna actually test this out here first by using Spider-Man Miles Morales as an example here. Now, when you see in this first part here, I'm actually doing some web swinging and a little bit of fighting here. And you can see that that's going on much faster frame rate. You can see much smoother animations and whatnot. The quality of the video is down just a little bit in terms of the game, but you get a much smoother, much more flowy, fast like experience. And some people like that, you know, like that high frame rate sort of setting there, as you can see me kind of flowing through it. Now, when I switched over to resolution mode, you'll see that the game doesn't flow nearly as fast with that type of speed, but the quality of the images are a whole lot better. The video quality of the game is a lot better. So they kind of increased that. So if you're somebody that wants to see the rich details, you really prefer the graphics over the frame rate, then this might be the option that you want to choose in terms of uh, gaming on gaming on your PS5 here in resolution mode. But it's really independent towards which games decide this and your TV makes a decision with this as well too, or rather your, your TV settings play a part in this whole thing. So if you want to check that out, you want to go into actually, we go back into settings and if we go all the way to screen and video, and you go to video output information, you'll exactly see what your TV supports right on that display. So for me right now, cause I'm actually plugged into a capture card, it says I support the 4K at 60 Hertz refresh rate. I have HDR available as well. And tells us what frequencies that those will work at. I don't have 120 frames per second or a 200 megahertz TV or higher frame rate TV just yet than that. That also requires HDMI 2.1, which most TVs not <laughs> right now don't have that. That's a newer standard that's sort of getting out there. And not a lot of games are at the point of really supporting that just yet. That's really more for future-proofing things. Uh, the really difference between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 is just how much more bandwidth you can shove down HDMI 2.1, which allows for this 8K gaming, which allows for this 4K at 120 frames per second. But you have to have the game that supports that and you need the TV at the same time. I wouldn't worry about that necessarily right now if you're deciding to buy a console. Just go ahead and do that if you want to do it. But know that you can get that later down the road when it is time for you to buy a brand new TV. And I would suggest buying a TV for more than just a gaming console or a specific game. Get it for more of those reasons, but at least you know when you buy a new TV, you're most likely gonna have those features within that TV, HDMI 2.1, faster refresh rate on the TV, which is gonna allow you to get even better benefits, obvious next gen console, specifically here with the PS5. Those are my suggestions there in terms of kind of handling that sort of thing there. Now, if you want to see what more options you have in the user interface, definitely check out our deep dive walkthrough of the PS5 UI. I love how this user interface is. It just has a great sort of flow that kind of goes along with it here. Also, if you want to maybe do a little bit of remote playing with you. I don't know why I did that weird jerk there, but I don't know if you want to do some remote playing with your PS5, you can actually set this up doing PS5 to PS4 remote playing. We went over that here a little bit. And plus check out all of our content. We have a giant playlist of all this stuff talking about the PS5 and we'll be adding to that more as we go along here. Thanks for watching.